Things are going peachy right now. We're into the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We're about to play Barcelona both legs in the Champions League quarter-final. And we are rocketing at the top of the Premier League. So following on from the last game against Salzburg was a 2-0 away win against Manchester City in the FA Cup quarterfinals. We completely dominated the game, even with a slightly rotated side. Paul Pogba and Marcus Rashford getting two late goals in the 77th and 84th minute, respectively. And I'm very happy to be in the semis. Hopefully we can get to the final and win this thing. And in the only other game that you missed since the last time we met was a 5-0 away win against Crystal Palace in Premier League action. It was actually a lot closer looking at the match stats than the scoreline would suggest. But we absolutely dominated, particularly in the first half. Mason Greenwood at an own goal and Marcus Rashford giving us a 3-0 advantage going into the second half. And then Edinson Cavani and Van Den Beek getting the other goals in that game. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We currently sit top of the league. Four points clear from Liverpool with a game in hand and we're also four points clear from Manchester City with two games in hand. We are absolutely cruising. There's still 10 games to go. So as long as we don't absolutely implode, the title is ours to lose, boys. But the focus of today will be European action. Here is the quarterfinals. Lazio, Atletico Madrid, Man City, Ajax, Us, Barca, UV, Real Madrid. And of course, whoever wins... I believe, we, who are we getting off? Completely forgot. I think it's Man City. Yeah, so we will play Man City or Ajax if, and it's a big if, we can get past Barcelona today. So we do have a couple of injury concerns. Kingsley Coleman, uh, he's out for another two to five weeks. He's probably going to miss the vast majority of the rest of this season. Anthony Martial returned from injury and then got himself injured on France duty. So uh, I'm not going to start him today. I'm not going to risk it. But he might end up coming uh, on off the bench, which means Edinson Cavani starts up top with Marcus Rashford dropping to that left-hand side. Bruno Fernandes and Mason Greenwood playing in behind the striker. Pogba Benton Kerr, full strength aside from that. Um, we're in good form. Barcelona currently sitting second in La Liga behind Real Madrid. So they're not having... The greatest of seasons themselves. Ronald Koeman is still their manager. Uh, let's see if they've made any major signings. It doesn't look like it. Ansu Fati. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous to play him. And they've got some good players on the bench as well. Unfortunately, Lionel Messi isn't injured either. I've had a look at him and he's still as crazy as ever. Let's get into the game. Champions League quarters. Can we do it? First highlight of the game comes three minutes in. Fernandes with the corner in. It's cleared by Barcelona. Thankfully, Hakimi gets there first. I was there. Uh, I saw Messi potentially bringing that ball down and completely doing our defence, but we do get away with it. Hakimi receives the ball from Pogba on that right-hand side, gets to the byline, he shoots. Cavani shoots. Massive, massive opportunity there. Hakimi shouldn't have shot in the first instance, but Cavani should definitely have done better with that second opportunity. He's got another bite at the cherry, though. Edinson Cavani. He has been Mr. Reliable up top. Has two guilt-edge chances he should have put away. Oh, and Barcelona go close just a minute later. It is end-to-end -end stuff right now. Another corner for us. Alex Tellez this time playing it in. They've got long delay marking that front post. And the, obviously the two corners that we've seen haven't quite made it to Harry Maguire's head. So maybe we might have to change our corner tactic for the second half. Maybe aiming for that back post. But we continue this highlight. Alex Tellez getting down that left-hand side. Don't shoot. Why is he shooting from that position? 30 minutes gone. We have a throw in deep. In Barcelona's half, Hakimi is the man to take it. Benton Kerr plays it in. Rashford with a strike. blocked by the defender. And it's cleared. We do retain possession though. And Hakimi brings it down this right-hand side once again. Bruno Fernandes feeds it through. Edinson Cavani is... Oh, he's offside. Oh, he's offside. Checking the goal review. VAR. I haven't seen one of these being overturned yet. Nah, disallowed. We'll see it in the replay here. Oh, I mean, come on. We are at home in this first leg. We've got to make our dominance count and hopefully get ourselves an advantage going into the away leg. It's going to be obviously been a completely different game once Barcelona's at home. Mason Greenwood receives a switch of play by Marcus Rashford. He's brought down in the box by Longley, but it's a good challenge. And um, this highlight might actually be a Barcelona attack. Messi cuts inside from the right-hand side. Can we get a challenge in before he does his magic? Sergio Roberto was overlapping, but Alex Tellez does excellently. He's on a yellow card, so we've got to keep an eye on that. But Cavani, he's set through. Edinson Cavani, he's not offside this time. He gets his 27th goal of the season to put us 1-0 up 38 minutes in. And it has been coming. It certainly has. 
Great play by Alex Telles to stop the Barcelona attack and Bruno Fernandes with a ball of dreams completely cutting open the Barca defence and Cavani's first time finish is beautiful. 1-0. Come on boys, get another one just before half time. Bruno Fernandes plays it in. Harry Maguire is there at the front post. Long glare wasn't there to stop us this time and, and we go 2-0 up. It's, it's deserved. I'm not having anything else said about it. We deserve to be 2-0 up against Barca here. We have missed a lot of good opportunities but now... We are making them count. No chance for the keeper. We go in at half time. Very, very happy boys. Pump fists. Oh, not pump fists. Outstretched arms and delighted with the performance so far. Hopefully that doesn't make them too complacent. But uh, I'm, everything is coming up. Millhouse. Alex Tellers plays it in once again at the front post. Harry Maguire heads just over this time. Bruno Fernandes with a free kick. Plays it in. Harry, <laughs> Come on, Harry. You've had, uh, you've had more opportunities than Cavani in this game. Just looking at the conditioning of some of our players, I'm thinking we are going to have to make some changes soon, but I, I don't really want to. We've got our best 11 out that we can put out right now. And uh, making the change will significantly weaken the team as Mason Greenwood goes for goal. Come on, just keep the second leg. Please be nice. Please be easy and get ourselves through at the semi-finals. If Ajax can do us a favour and get past Manchester City as well, that will be even better. I would stop thinking about the semi-final, Sam. We just need to con focus on this game. Focus on the quarters. Rashford doing well. Mason Greenwood with a hell of a finish. He has really stepped up since Kingsley Coleman got injured. Half an hour to go. Just don't concede. Right, Bruno Fernandes is going to have to come off. He is really, really struggling out there. We'll get Donny van den Beek on for him. We're going to get off Rodrigo Benton Kerr as well. Um, and bring on Scott McTominay. So Scott McTominay is going to go into central midfield instead of Paul Pogba. And Pogba can go in attacking midfield instead of Donny van den Beek. I have completely messed that up. There we are. Oh, oh, there we go. So we've got two of our best players off the pitch now in Bruno Fernandes and Rodrigo Benton Kerr. Hopefully, the rest of the boys who we've brought on can step up and shut Barcelona out. And we've done that absolutely magnificently. No need to make any changes. Oh, no, don't con don't concede. Ansu Fatty's in behind, goes for goal. Oh, it's a hell of a strike. Barcelona get their away goal, comes out of absolutely nothing. Um, Van den Beek's poor crossing to be quite honest with you Hakimi does well to win that ball but Dan James has pushed a bit too far up and long glare finds Antu Fatty and that, that is a hell of a finish it really is but that puts us a little bit more on the back foot than I would have liked and we have a highlight straight from kickoff Dan James picks with the ball on this right hand side he goes for goal S stupid and we're almost at full time we're over the allotted three minute at a time I will be furious if Barcelona score in this period, hopefully it's going to be attack for us. Hakimi feeds it through to Paul Pogba. Come on, Paul. We retain it with three goal advantage going into the second leg. Paul Pogba's 93rd minute goal, giving us a 4-1 lead against Barcelona. I was not expecting this at all. We've completely dominated the game. Uh, La Ansu Fatty goal was just a daft little counter and a moment of individual brilliance. <sighs> Wow, we're going through, boys. Now we have it full time. Man United 4, Barca 1. Let's see what's happened in the other fixtures. So, UV and Real Madrid uh, played a one all draw in their tie. I would quite like UV to get through in that. We've already played them once, uh, twice. And I think we've done pretty well. So, the other fixtures haven't quite been played yet. So, we'll rest our boys up. We've got a home tie against West Brom in the Premier League, who currently sit bottom. So he's where we get our first defeat in the league, <laughs> obviously. And I'll see you for the second leg against Barca. So we're gearing up for the second leg. Only the one game to speak about since the last time we met was the 3-0 home win against West Bromwich Albion. We played a pretty much fully rotated side. Marcus Rashford and Martial started. Uh, Martial was just to get him some fitness after returning from injury. Rashford scored from the penalty post spot six minutes in and Dan James got a brace from that right-hand side. Let's check the first legs for the other teams. So Lazio are, Lazio are through and Manchester City are through. So if we do get past Barcelona, Man City will be our opponents. I'm very surprised Lazio are through to the semi-finals. That's interesting. So we, ourselves and Juve and Real Madrid and Barca, of course, are all deciding their fates now. So we've got pretty much a full strength side. Martial still lacking a little bit of match fitness, but he's going to get the start on that left-hand side where he was doing so well before he picked up them couple of injuries. Rashford up top, Fernandez, Greenwood, Pogba, Bentenka, you know the rest. Our defence remains the same pretty much every single game, as long as everyone's fit. 
and ready. Here we go. 4-1 up from the first leg. All we need to do is not concede too many. And based on the performance from Barcelona in that first leg, I don't think it's going to happen. But let's not count our chickens just yet. First highlight of the game comes only one minute in. It was a Barcelona throw in which we have retained possession from, but I'm still a little bit wary. Anthony Martial brings us down from a David De Gea kick. Oh, he gives the ball away. He's not match fit. Coutinho to Ansu Fati. He caused us a problem in the last uh, game. Thankfully, Alex Tellez cuts out that pass and we regain possession. Martial cuts inside from that left, finds Marcus Rashford, his partner in crime. Alex Tellez and Pogba combine down that left-hand side. He finds Martial in the box. Get a cross in, do not shoot. He does, Marcus Rashford. What a block by the defender. Saves Barcelona from the first goal conceded. Another highlight now. Barcelona uncharacteristically give the ball away to Harry Maguire and Marcus Rashford. Can't win the header and Antoine Griezmann can get away down this left-hand side. Come on, boys. Get the challenge in before they cause a problem. Anto Fatty, come on. There's a challenge, Benton Kerr. If you just stuck your leg out, he's in behind. Oh, Barcelona are 1-0 up. Danger, danger. Oh, come on, boys. Six minutes in, we have ourselves another highlight. <laughs> and, of course, we give the ball away from the throne. Antoine Griezmann. <sighs> I'm happy with that. The rest of the first half completely went by without any incident. Let's cheer the boys up and hope for a similar second half. First highlight of the second half comes 55 minutes in. It's a goal kick from Barca. Bruno Fernandes pinches it, feeds it into Marcus Rashford. And that is surely us through to the Champions League semi-final. Marcus Rashford's 21st goal of the season. Barcelona won, Manchester United won. Let's skip this. Let's just get through this game. Are we that cocky that we're going to take some players off? I think we are. Bruno Fernandes for Van den Beek. And Nemanja Matic on for Rodrigo Bentenker. Another highlight now. It's a corner for us. Van der Beek plays it in. Cleared once again by Longley at that front post. But he plays it back out to Harry Maguire. Cross comes in. Paul Pogba. His heading's pretty poor. 20 minutes to go. Barcelona in possession. Usman Dembele. I think they've brought him on off the bench. And he's got them fresh legs to get past Hakimi. And uh, whoever else it was. He gets to the byline. Great challenge. Hakimi's got 11 tackling. I do not care. That was absolutely phenomenal. Mason Greenwood with the ball down the line for Marcus Rashford down this right hand side. He's got no support whatsoever. Uh, we do, man. Uh, do we? That was a that was a shot. Messi with the corner for Barca plays it in. Long glares there at the front post, causing us some issues, but we survive. Mason Greenwood struggling out there in terms of his fitness, so we'll get him off for Dan James on that right hand side. Five minutes to go. I'm finally calm. I think we're through. <laughs> it's five two, so we should be. Hakimi with the ball down the right-hand side. He's going to shoot, isn't he? Oh, he's been taken down. No foul, apparently. Antoine Griezmann brings the ball. Oh, my God. The seas are parting. Griezmann's in behind. Good save by David here. And Luis Felipe can get it clear. And there we have it. Full-time. Barca 1. Manchester United 1. We are through to the Champions League semis where we'll be playing Manchester City. I'm sick, to, I'm sick of the sight of them, to be quite honest with you. Uh, who won out of UVM Real Madrid? Real Madrid won. Disappointed with that. But yeah, we are through. The semi-finals are decided. And we are going to be facing Manchester City. And Lazio will be facing Real Madrid. That'll be the next episode then. So only a couple of games in the Premier League. Spurs and Leeds before the next episode. We've got Villa in between them two legs as well. Of course, we've got the FA Cup semi-final. That is coming up next against West Brom. Um, I'm not going to bring that as a live com. If we do get to the final though, that will be a live com probably towards the end of the season. Um, we could be in a lot of finals towards the end of the season, boys, if we can get past Manchester City. We drew against them early in the season, I do believe. Where are they? Did we draw against them? We beat them 3-1 at home and we beat them 1-0 away. We beat them twice in the league this season. Hopefully we can do the same again in the Champions League semis, but we know knockout competitions are different. But yeah, I hope you're looking forward to it, lads. If you have enjoyed today's video, get yourself leaving a like. Get yourself subscribed. And until next time, take it easy.